guys, uh, down Dover again, um, around by the Citadel of Western Heights. We're at the um, at the short casemates, and um, of course the long casemates are associated. We're going to show you around the short casemates uh, first of all, um, and then we'll show you into the uh, long casemates as well. Um, so to sort of start off with the little section that I'm, I'm stood in front of here, um, look like a very <laughs> Small room. That's guessing air shaft either side. Yeah, it look like it had one doorway in the middle and then two arched windows sort of either side of it originally. Yeah, I'm guessing this would have probably been your magazine for your, for your shelves and all of that. It's got a small fence magazine. Yeah. If we go down, so many bricks around it. As you can see, these are the uh, the two short case mates. There's about a couple of big cannons hanging as well. Hanging out. Yeah, these these wouldn't have been quite as open as they are now. They've been a lot more sealed. I'd, be, I'd guess they've probably been quite similar to the one that we was just in. But they've had a doorway in the middle, two windows either side, and a little window above it. As you can tell, time hasn't been kind to this one. Quite sort of similar to the uh, cat size up around the uh, We've done a video on very similar sort of case mates there. Now, in the side, you'd have had sort of uh, chimneys. Chimney would have gone there, and the chimney breast sort of went off to the left. Looks like you'd have had a raised floor in it here as well. Uh, once again, the sort of wooden floors, bricks down the middle to support it all. And one of the other fireplaces, still with. Metal flume, flue. That's all in place. Um, and then, of course, this this would have been bricked up. That would have been fully open, which would aim down over the port through the roof. We'd have had a big can cannon hanging. It would have gone sort of straight out there. I could have loaded it, fired it out. So sort of defend uh, defend the citadel and this this end of Western Heights. Um, one of, I think on this side, one of the furthest points um, that the citadel goes and its fortifications go. Once again, that would have been another fireplace. Up. 
So that's the uh, the short case, mate. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go down and uh, see if we can get into the uh, long case, mate. If not, at least we'll be able to show you the cap and air that runs between the two. Um, we'll see you inside in a sec. Yep. All right, easy people. Um, we managed to get into the long case, mate. Um, as you can tell, it's a lot colder in here, so I do apologise if I'm sort of getting ghosted up in front of me. No, it's not a ghost, it is my breath. <laughs> Uh, it is quite chilly in here in comparison. Um, it's such a pig's ear to get into here, but what we'll do, we'll show you what it's like on the way out so you guys can decide not to do it because we have for you, like, honestly. Um, but these these are the long case mates. Um, as I said, uh, they're associated with short case mates. They were um, used in sort of unison to defend the back corner of the citadel. Um, Apparently pigeons are able to make it into it, <laughs> but as with the short case weights, of course you've got the you've got the fireplace. And I'm guessing it would have been out of that end that the fiery window would have been. Yeah, I think so. And then the cannon would have fired out that way. Defend out that way. I've got kind of spun around when we came in here. Uh, now, what is a bit different in these casemates that we haven't seen is they've had these added in that also go up to the, uh, the hole that the sort of elders might throw out uh, through the cannons. Now, I don't know if this was sort of Retro cut in, it looks like it might have been gouged out after it was originally bought, so it, uh, built, so it could have been um, World War II edition, uh, but I've never actually seen it before, and yet I'll actually comment on that. Um, for some reason, they decided to put a big pile of concrete yeah, sorry. between that door that goes between them. I'm quite sure why. And then, good you mate, how on earth did you get in here? And that's the little air vent, bro. Yeah, it's a little picture, did it? There's a, you can see the light coming in. Oh, yeah. Mud, anything else they had spare? That's the amount of archaeology in it. Things again that we saw in a short case, mates. Oh, well. Quite a lot of the original paint on here still, so you've got the green and the yellow and the white. 
No, it was pitted and then the concrete was just sort of plastered over the top of it for some reason. And somehow a tree made its way down into it. <laughs> Somebody's been trying to find another way in. <laughs> safe away. Shit. Had a lot of safe away. Take you back through. We'll, um, we'll take you back down the way that we came in. Um, yeah, apologies that we didn't film the way in. Uh, we kind of got to it, um, and it was sort of one of those of uh, if you don't go for it, you're going to second guess yourself. Um, you're not going to go for it, and or you're going to make a mistake. Yeah, you just went for it. Straight down. Yeah, of course. To be fair, Stumpy, my knees are killing me, so I'll let you go down that other little entrance. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I'll let you explain that. Um, whilst you're doing that, I'll start going back through that way. When you come out, you can come straight back through. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Give me to. Oh, no, so I should be alright. I'll let you. No worries. Squeeze it. Right. So we'll just set up a little tunnel section. Take it down here to have a look, see what's down here. Right. So imagine that used to be one of the entrances. You still see the original door in there. And I say a long sink that's uh, bricked that up. For a lift down here, to my right, there's a little spiral staircase that goes up. So, I'll take you up there, see what we find. So, it's very precarious. I don't even know if there's steps under me. Completely blocked. Not going any further, unfortunately. So what I'll do, take you back down, down and out the way we came in. And back into the long case, mate. Oh, let's look around. Oh, uh, catch my breath, and unfortunately, that is where I've got to go down. Hopefully, I'll just be able to slide. It's more difficult than I am. This nice safe hot right? Well, not very safe by the looks of it. Cut the hole and then <sighs> into this bit, which is not much better. Let's 
This little crossroads, and uh, got to go through yet another hole. We'll, we'll film down here the bits that are down here and then uh, then we'll sign off this one towards the staircase I dug out that hole uh, this is all the spoil from it yeah. I'd say the majority of it I think some of it's from this wall but for yeah. some reason they've gullied out all the way up that is odd I've done it on the, uh, the other staircase as well, so... Yeah, that's what I, I thought maybe originally this pipe here was going to go in there. Uh, a lot of work for that. A bone with bone mould. Oh, this is an old gallery, isn't it? Yeah. Brick floor. on this one up. You can see how these are built, just each one has been bit of slab stacked onto each other, going the whole way up. Citadel or 
onto one of those little island bits. Oh. Cool, Darren Dreyf again though. Yeah. Amazing brew work. Fantastic what that was able to do, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's all like the ones that we're in um, St. Bart's Hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah. that little doorway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I suppose when, when down going for people say anything like this is a small section, but around sort of Melbourne, and they find something like this is quite a big chunk. Yeah, the sheer scale of the fences down here. Here uh, there's another staircase, um, and that's that's how we was able to get down into here. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll leave the video here for today. Um, that's the long and short casemates um, around at the Citadel, um, at Western Heights down in Dover. I hope, I hope I hope you like today's explore. There will be a bit more information about it in the uh, in the description. But hope you enjoy it, and until next time, uh, happy exploring.